Well, the play is about uh, a couple who have been living for 10 years in the wild west country and uh, it's their 10th anniversary and they've got a friend, an old friend coming down. Um, he's made a lot of money in the city of London. They haven't made a lot of money in the countryside and uh, he's bringing his 25 year old French burlesque dancer girlfriend and uh, to cut a long story short, uh, the whole evening goes to hell. <laughs> Have you got the wood in, Gordy? The champagne will freeze these days out there. Yes, yes, and yes. I'm onto it now. Why die in the harness and you to the plan? I think we're not getting pissed down there, Gordy. You'll only regret it and fuck up the food. I am an artist. How dare you imply that I'm pissing it up on the job? Well, Gordon is a lovely chap. He's um, in his early 40s. Um, he's very out Doorsy in an indoorsy way. He's got great aspirations of um, becoming a sort of man of nature and um, and working very hard in his uh, Hemingway fashion. Um, he's very much gone uh, gone to Cornwall with that that sort of masculine dream of sort of discovering a more physical way of life. Celia is um, she's got two children and she's married to Gordon. Um, she's She's dissatisfied with her life. She's unhappy. She's got everything that she wants on the outside. She has all the trappings. She has a beautiful home. She has beautiful children. Um, but she just hasn't kind of... She's just not a very happy woman. She's very confused, and she doesn't sort of accept what she has. It's a great to see you, mate. I'm, I'm sorry, we're terribly late. Uh, Celia, Julia, Julia, Celia, Julia, Gordon, Gordon, Julia. Zach is a city boy uh, who's made a lot of money in the past and is a good friend of Gordon and Celia and he has in the past had a relationship with Celia. Uh, Julia is the French burlesque dancer, um, the young flashy girlfriend and the only honest character in the entire piece. Um, you've got all the, the other three who are all just pretending to be something that they're not and they're pretending everything's great and fine and underneath they're just seething with bitterness and angerness and Julia just comes in and cuts straight through the bullshit like the French do <laughs> and just says it as it is Actually, it is quite a nasty line I wouldn't it is you realize it's nasty yeah. I'd let it be nasty maybe go by the, you know if you're pissed you'll just pick it up yeah. it's it's a, very a, bit of, a bit of fuel it's a very unfair thing yes. to say. It's unfair of her, isn't it? It's not. He's a brilliant well, cook. But he also probably does get it. Does, 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 he, does, he, does he ruin it when he's pissed no. out? And as an actor, given that you've been involved in the first workshops up at Beeford and now here at Dartington, what's that been like in terms of the development of a new, new script? It's been really exciting because, um, and I've known Murray for a year now, and to received the phone call to say that Murray was coming up with a new piece and that uh, he'd like, like me to be involved in the project. Um, to really be doing this um, sort of literary archaeology um, along with these, these two sessions, it's very much like Michelangelo making a sculpt, sculpture that, that we've got a big lump of something and that all of us together are chipping away and discovering this, this multifaceted, complex story uh, underneath that's really developing into a... Into a very exciting play. I hadn't realised so much about the about the rhyming and the poetry, which is just really coming alive, especially today. And that's it's just amazing. I think it's it's gold. It's going to be gold.